Hello, I'd like to document a way to reduce the shift throw in the BMW E30 uh, with the non four wheel drive version uh, using the Track 260 gearbox and also in lay models. Uh, this is a shift mechanism you will find in most uh, lay model BMW E30. Uh, this is a shift lever, this is a shift arm with a ball joint as a fulcrum. And this is a selector rod. So when we move the lever, we basically push in and out the selector rod. Also rotate the selector rod into different gear. So in order to reduce the throw of the shift lever, the idea is to increase the distance between these two points. And if you search the internet, the most common approach will be basically just swap out this uh, shift lever with a Z3 1.9 lever, which is a longer tail that will increase this distance about half inch. Uh, this, e, uh, this approach comes with a problem because you basically push this uh, selector rod half inch downward this way. And in some model with uh, like Ita car has a bigger flex disc and some dry shaft with harmonic balance uh, hum, uh, vibration damper you may bump into this obstacles and you some in some cases people will bend this rod to clear this obstacle but you also have to think about this thing gonna move around when the car is in motion on the torque so uh, the other things to consider is that when you change the lever, you, ch you change the geometry of the entire mechanism. Uh, as you can see, uh, now in the stock form, uh, the rod and the arm pretty much stay in parallel. Uh, then once you bend the rod, change the lever, change the distance, you may compromise the parallel parallelism of the mechanism, uh, you might get a little bit harder to shift uh, if you go too far. Uh, in my opinion, maybe half inch is the most you can do. Uh, then if you go any further, you may need to consider uh, more drastic mo modification to in order to shift smoothly. Then, but half inch is you know, it definitely will reduce your throw, but for some people, may this half inch increase may not be enough. So now I want to introduce another setup over here. And this setup using a different shift, shift arm. Uh, this is using a, a BND BMW E30 iX shift arm because uh, in the iX model there's a transfer case behind the gearbox so in order to clear the transfer case uh, BMW designed a different shift arm for the iX model as you can see this uh, now the ball joint fulcrum is set much more higher about one inch higher than the, than the original location then we can use this uh, to our advantage. Then now, here I'm using an E60 um, shift lever, and I increase the distance between these two points about one inch, uh, but without compromising the entire parallel mechanism. And the one inch increase definitely give you more clicky and shorter throw you know, shift filling. So, and in the same time, it doesn't really change the geometry. All right. Uh, I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching.